my home. This is my country. This is the land I've grown to love. Looking at this area, it has always been a terrible area for grass. You know, you can even see the, the musk growing in there. Yes. So a thought is to make a bed of gardenias. The other problem that I have yep. is underneath here, yep. it's a bit of a hit and a miss. Yes. You know, um, I don't know whether roses are the, is the right thing for here. Not. It's not. Too shady. Yeah. And uh, azaleas, they look a bit sick. They're not happy. They've all had lace bug. Yeah. I think, again, one of the problems, and this is a big argument I have with the nursery industry, yeah. is that some azaleas are very hardy uh -huh. and others are not. Uh -huh. And the nursery industry don't tell the customers which uh -huh. ones are the really tough ones. My guess is a lot of those are just very third-rate varieties of azaleas. Yeah. If we have the fact sheet on the tough varieties, tough varieties and there would be fantastic. But you must be a bit of a warm pocket. You've got an anthurium, a flamingo flower there. They shouldn't be growing here. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened? This it all comes out of the, from oh. indoor plants because ah. when they begin to die, out of desperation, I put them anywhere. Like oh. uh, these uh, Tresenius. Yeah, yeah Tresenius, yeah. yeah. And uh, these were all pot plants. Ah. They were about this big. They were dying inside the house. Those three, I mean, they're magnificent. It's like a hydra-headed snake. Each yeah. time I chop <laughs> it off and plant it, it just grows like wildfire. And uh, then uh, the ones that I want to grow, they don't seem to lift off, you know. Well, that's a very good use for the Dracaenas. Yeah. They're a very much underused plant. Yeah. But again, where you are here with, with a few frosts in winter, I wouldn't have expected them to do this well, but yeah. you're doing something right. Yeah, I don't know I what don't it know. is. I mean, you know, a brown thumb. I <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the famous Kamal Rolls Royce. It's the KK112. Some, some people say, why KK? It's, it's for the Kaftan kid. <laughs> but in fact, your, Kamal is sort of an abridged version of yes. your real name, yeah. isn't it? If you really want to know the details, you go to, it's in the book. Ra the, the new biography. The biography, yes. And the full version of the KK name? It's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Kandaya Kamaleswaran. But I just got it because uh, I think I really got it because it says Kaftan Kid. Yeah. yeah. And on that basis, there's 111 other Kaftan kids running around Sydney. Exactly. Exactly. You're, is this it? <laughs> Come on. Are, are we, what are we going to do? Let us do one of our big hits together. Uh, I think it's a, call, uh, a thing called uh, The Maori's Farewell. Remember that, don't you? I'm not a Maori. I realise that, but yeah. nor am I. All right. Bert was funny. He was always funny. There were others who were not so funny. And perhaps m more malicious or whatever. Yeah, you know. But you never resented the, when Bert put his black makeup on and why are people so unkind? Not at all, not at all. I mean, you know, in fact, it was through Bert. In fact, it was at Bert's show where this idea for the book started. How long have you two been married? Come 29th of June, we would have been married for 30 years. That's a while. It's a yes. long time. <laughs> <laughs> you only get, what, 15 years for murder. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Has it seemed like a long time, Sir Hadra? Uh, no, not really, no. Tell the he's truth. Ha he's hardly home, so mm. it's, a, you know, I think 90% mm. of the Tell time. Tell the truth. 30 years he hasn't been home. Between 73 and 83, I would have spent less than three months a year at home. And those were the years when Rajan and Rani were growing up and when she would have needed me most and I wasn't there. How old are they now? Rajan is 27 and Rani is 25. Rajan is the boy. Boy. Rani is the girl. When you look at him, you can't tell the difference because he's got long hair. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't have his sense of humor. Pretty twisted sense. Well, maybe I didn't have your sense of humor. Yeah, I think you do, actually. Thank you. Uh -huh. For many, many years, I mean, Australia must have been one of the whitest countries on earth. And for many, many years, you were probably the only coloured person we regularly ever saw. Yeah. In I the mean, media. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I suppose that could have been one of the things that uh, made me so easily recognisable or identifiable. Mm. You know? And uh, it was a plus and a minus at the same time. 
Um, I couldn't hide anywhere. I couldn't hold up a bank or anything like that. And added to that, I had a voice that sounded a little bit different, and that compounded the problem. Was it always deep? <laughs> no, I mean, it, I started sort of, uh, in fact, I have one of my very early recordings I did in 63, 64. I sound like a boy soprano. But I'll miss you most of all, my darling, when autumn leaves. And eventually, somewhere along the way, I evolved what I do today, you know. I mean, uh, I became my own self instead of being uh, a Nat King Cole or a Robeson or something like that. Because after Nat King Cole, I fell in love with, the, with, with Robeson's music. And the way of that, have you ever done Old Man River? Have I done Old Man River? Is the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, in fact, I've recorded it three times. Three times. Three times. And each time, never satisfied with what I did. The last one was two years ago. And I think I've come close to doing it the way I want to, yeah. It's the f standard song. I mean, every man who thinks he's a man has <laughs> at one time or another stood in the shower. And sang all manner of it. Can you give us a few... You want all manner of it now? <laughs> You just want the chorus of it, do just a, you? Yeah. Uh, I'll have to lead into it. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Old man river, that old man river. He must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling. He keeps on rolling along. 